All right, we are doing this because, well, it was going off and it's easy. So I'm gonna try to put this out this evening, get a, a few more videos out, boost the end of year revenue, and uh, hopefully provide some entertainment. But uh, as always, we are gonna play this one safe with cautions on just because there's really not a whole lot you can do. You can't break away. All you can do is sit in a pack, so uh, we don't need to do that, especially with how bad prediction code has been. Uh, it's looked really bad. Like, I watched uh, Dirk Gavin's race here, and he was just constantly prediction coding everyone with his uh, northeast or northwest uh internet ping and we got a bunch of people in the high 100s and a couple of people over that so we're gonna play it safe we didn't qualify we're still up in ninth position so um yeah we're just gonna try to fall into a safe spot hopefully though not too many cautions and I can just upload the video rather than editing it. And if there's a bunch of cautions, I might still just upload it and say screw it. Because it usually ends up taking longer to edit. Go green. Stay focused. And to upload. But, let's uh, get this going. I did fix my look left, so that's good. I remembered to do that. And, uh, Time to do your job. Let's hope we just go 50 green. Did a few practice pit stops, and I'm just gonna green flag, green flag. try to be safe here. run 
come down the back stretch, close this gap up a little bit just so no one gets antsy behind us. But it's going to be just a lot of waiting around now, hoping no one makes a mistake. push the gas all the way down. No need for it with the draft and since the front car can't get pushed, uh, you can't go much quicker than what you can all by yourself. So there's a tiny bit of extra speed you get from someone putting their nose under your wing, but it's uh, not worth it to risk contact. Hopefully the volume and everything is fine here. Looks like everything's good. Still messing around with the different audio settings. I think I've got it pretty close to where I want it to be and better than what it has been for the last four years. Should be a lot of less, a lot less clipping at the uh, high end or when I stretch out a word. It used to cut off. I think that is gone now. Uh, they are three wide, and I think that's enough for me to say, no, I want some distance before they wreck. I'm going to lose some track position, but that's... Uh, Gonna give us some distance to the wreck, I hope. But no need for three wide for the next 42 laps. second behind us. No idea. Now in 21st. That's a, that's a strange one. All right. They've calmed down a bit. Again, it's easy to make up that track position. Not too worried about it. And it just wasn't worth the risk to be that close to the wreck. If they did wreck. Yeah, we got more potential of a wreck in front of us now that we are further back. But everyone back here is being fairly calm. laps left until we need to pit.
even though we can go, what, showing like 31 laps, we're in the draft doing that. So we don't want to go early because we could get stuck out by ourselves and then be using a lot more fuel going a lot slower. So we don't want to do the pit early. We just get in it halfway. We'll be fine from there. I would like to pit from further up in the field. So as we get closer to that number, we may start working our way up. We're just waiting for people to pit and work our way up that way. Still trying to wreck. But they're giving each other space at the moment. I haven't seen anything too terrible prediction code wise. I haven't seen people really darting left or right too much, so that's good. It's time to move up here anyways, just to get a better hitting position. Alright, this should give us a good idea on fuel. And we need about 14 to be safe. means we need to get down to four gallons of fuel in the tank. Just to make sure we're safe on it. Don't want to be as close as we are, but right now, nowhere to slot in to get down to the bottom line. Well, there is, but we don't need to. Four 
reverse it at the moment because we don't need to pit it for a bit. slowing down that early probably to not speed like I did there but oh well was not ready for him to duck off and stop um yeah we're fucked that's just we screwed it up was not ready for him to just stop there there was no need to break that early and then we had to stay wide and now we got a 45 second hold, so we're screwed. One lap down, gonna end up probably two laps down. We're gonna need a caution, a couple of cautions. Oh, total failure. I even practiced pitting. That's why I felt confident going in a lot harder than I ever would. We're done. Get going. Good news is he got a penalty as well, so we do have a drafting partner. Well, you only have one time. We did have a drafting partner. is going to catch us as well, so we have totally failed. Two laps down, our race is over. Luckily they got a pit soon, but... Let this guy with a run go, and then we can draw 
drop in behind. Such a failure. We need a caution right now. Very badly. I mean, a caution after everyone pits as well would be good, but total failure on my part. We ruined that guy's race and our own. down now. This guy's going to be pitting. And we're back to two laps down. Caution any time would be good. Any time now, caution. Well, actually, once the leader pits, I think, because there's one more car out there. There might be some people a lap down at the moment. Once he pits, now a caution would be nice. Alright, we can just back off to the back of this right now. Now that there's no chance of us going two laps down, that way we can get the lucky dog. I wish I wouldn't have screwed myself over there. What's our situation right now? We are one of two people a lap down, but we are in Lucky Dog. If there is Lucky Dogs, I don't even know if there is Lucky Dogs. that lead group wads it up. Very soon. Not at the end of this.
glad we took the penalty, though. I thought about turning everything off and doing a 15-second hold, but we would have needed a caution quickly, and we definitely did not get that. So now we just need that lead group to die very soon, preferably before lap 40, and hope that there are lucky dogs. They wrecked twice in like the first two feet in Dirk Gavin's race. a little bit of space as well since this back group is now racing with each other but we are in trouble if there's not a caution in the next five laps uh, we might make it back on the lead lap but whoop de doo not gonna have any shot at any positions but when you screw up, all on your own, it's punishment you deserve. I mean, the good news is the nine self spun coming out of the pit, so that made us not have to race him in this pack to try to get the lucky dog. Again, if there is even a lucky dog. We need to see smokes and wheels and parts and we need to see cars fly into the moon. We need that very, very soon. Ringing in turn three. Low car up high. Go low. Caution, yellow flag. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. Thank you. Thank you for uh, delivering. <laughs> I knew I needed to back off away from that group. Now, is there a lucky dog? Or did that just delay our finish of 22nd and eventually be a 23rd? because we don't get the lucky dog and the nine goes around us. Because it should say lucky dog candidate, shouldn't it? I don't think we got the lucky dog. Is there someone else out there that just got lapped? No, no lucky dogs in the series. No one's going to pit, or some might, but not the entire field, so we're not going to get a wave by. There's no lucky dog here, and all this does is waste time, and it should say lucky dog candidate. Say it. 
Say it. Let me go. Come on. You can do it. Why? Get up one car. Let up twenty. Car Why are we just brake checking? Okay, guy clearly has no idea how pit road works. Well, no lucky dog. Got ten left to go. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I mean, I guess that is IndyCar rules, but... No shot of... Like, the only shot we're going to have is a, another wreck, a big wreck, that happens two laps before the finish, and people can't drive away from it. That's our only other shot, so... Get the 20, car. Oh, well. Shot myself in the foot. No recovering from that big of a mistake. We'll go pit. Go to the rear. We gotta go to the rear anyways, I think. Since we're inside, 10 to go. I think it's going to close pit road before we get into it. Maybe not. One to go. Next time by, let the 16 car I have no idea what the rules are anymore, apparently. Go 100 mile an hour onto pit road, run into a dude, and, uh, yeah. So, now we go to the back. Letter 21, carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Not even going to race the nine. We're just going to drop to the rear and uh, hope that the entire field explodes and no one can drive away from it. Just disappointing though. Such a stupid mistake on my part. But we've got a couple of spots. We'll see if they hand us 10 more. Get ourselves a ninth place finish. Go for that. But leader's probably going to go pretty early to string out things, which will then take about five laps for everyone to Get ready. Going close green. up. And then, uh, then they'll wreck. But we're going to need a big wad of three wide everywhere to in. really get us anything. And once again, we have a little glitch in the view there. Don't understand what's going on with that. Green flag, green flag. Outside. Don't know why he's not passing us. Give him the outside.
Alrighty, well, we again need to see an explosion of cars, but much bigger than the last one. Oh, they're looking. They're looking to explode. We're not going to see it because I'm going to hang way back from it. There we go. There we go. Hopefully, none of them can drive away. There's time for a restart. They're still wrecking. Try to see. Go past. Oh no. Dr. Chef wrecked. All right, well, that worked out. I did not think we'd get that big of a wreck that early, but they performed. So that means the people that are broken are going to have to come into the pits for their meatballs and not be able to just pace to the end of the race. So that's going to get us some spots. There's going to be a lot of wings getting repaired. But we might be moving up to about, what, 17th place now? Based off of what's on track. And then maybe a few more depending on the meatballs that are out there. Not a whole lot of people from the front had to pit, so. We're making a pass right now, though, and moving up into 19th. Five, nope, five to But if we were on the lead lap, we'd be doing a hell of a lot better. Fortunately, there's a hole in my foot. And the brake pedal went straight through it. Catch that, 14, car. So 15th and 16th are still on pit road. Possibility of us getting those spots if they've got required and are stuck in there and go a lap down. Now this is Talladega though, which means the game could crash on me because this is a track that the game always crashes on me, especially in these cars. So, although it looks like we might get in a few spots back from our dumb mistake, could end up not actually getting them. And will these people come out of the pits? They do not. 
Looks to like go. we're going to be moving up to 17th. Get stuff, nine, car. 18.94. So we only move up to 17th. But. We still got one more wreck that could happen, as long as it happens on the Get second up, lap nine, of this yeah. and people can't drive away from it, we might get a few more spots. Catch up, 22, car. Catch up, 9, car. But not even going to race the 9 for 16th, because we are most likely the reason why he missed the pit entry, because we got into him when we both pulled off the track. And it would mean that we'd have to stay closer to the pack, which means it might be in the wreck that eventually happens. About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. It's not even going to go early at the lead, so that is going to keep things bunched up quite heavily. Which is good news for us for a big three wide wreck. Green, green, green. Need him to wreck this lap though. That's looking good. Always good when you see someone down on the apron. There we go. Hopefully there's a bunch that can't drive away from that. Get a pace it out at the end. Might get a couple more spots. like we're going to get at least one. Good news is the finish line is after the pits. Yeah, looks like maybe eh, we might get a couple. Yeah, we might actually get up to 13th. Amazingly. Unfortunately, V5 will be able to finish under those car conditions because no green white checkered. So he will uh, bounce that right front around to the end. Catch up, fifteen car. And we get 13th. So, flag, terrible. Flag. 
terrible, terrible, but at least we recover a bit from everyone wrecking. Alright, let's go take a look at the wrecks, which we don't have to look at anything until we get to here. get someone driving down under the yellow line and then losing it and wrecking two people more people so that was good always good to go down on the apron I think that's gonna be the theme of these wrecks on the backstretch okay he did go he just ran into the guy in front of him so then the big one down the backstretch and prediction code and goes flying and that guy's spinning and then this guy his right rear I think was broke so he couldn't control that really wasn't as big as you would think Dr. Chef Rex trying to get back then someone coming up from the apron and they all go flying but sadly not as big as it could have been and that's it so let's uh take a look at the results we're gonna lose some i rating and gain some safety rating And we lose 38, gain 56, and waste our afternoon because, well, we shot ourselves in the foot. But who knows? I mean, we probably would have just been in those wrecks or ended up right around here. So really didn't change a whole lot other than ruining that guy's race. But uh, yeah, unfortunate. I hope it was okay to watch, but... Yeah, unfortunately took myself out of it. Thanks for watching.